Good morning. I uh, just taking a quick video here of kind of my shower setup I've got in the truck. Um, right now it's put away. This is where everything kind of sits. Well, while I'm sleeping, my bag comes down, sits on top of my bed while I'm driving. But that right there is the base of what I stand in. There's my hot water heater. My two seven gallon buckets. My washing machine. Pretty much all sits up here on the top bunk. Um, storage, stuff like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and you can see shower curtain rod right there. Now the other two I just have up there just to hold stuff. But this shower curtain rod is the only one I use. Then I've got two uh, bungee cords, one there, one over there, that I use to hold the shower curtain out. And then what I'm gonna do is I'll put the shower curtain, or the, the, the bucket right here where I'm standing, yay, um, to take a shower. So give me just a minute, I'm gonna get this uh, shower set up and I'll show you what it looks like. So right now I'm dropping the pump into the water tank. And I've taken the bucket off the top and I'll grab my shower head here. Set that down for a second. And then take this bucket right to the floor. It's a decent sized bucket. I've got this drain tube that I've put in, it goes out where I've got a um, power inverter cables so that go down to the floor. So this just goes right out and down, down out in front of my uh, fuel tank. And then I hook this hose up here to the bucket, and that way it drains out while I'm taking a shower. So let me pause this again, I'll be right back. Okay, as you can see, shower curtain hanging up, bungee cords holding it in place, lots of room in the shower bucket. I mean, I can. I can stand around pretty good, and I've got make sure the shower, making sure the shower curtain does stay in the bucket, and this is all covered over so I don't get get wet or get the uh, truck wet. Last thing I need is to water my truck, so I've got some clothespins down there that kind of help keep it weighted. You can see clothespin there shower curtain set up, a couple hooks, and that's about it. Let me, actually I'm going to undo this hook, I don't use that one. Grab my shower head here. So there's the shower head. I'll just uh, hook it up. The shower head's got an on and off switch right here. So when I turn the pump on, when I turn the hot water pump and stuff on, it will actually um, let me move that, and I didn't plug it in. Oops. Okay, well, move a couple things out of the way there. There we go. All right. Now I turn this on. Battery's fully charged on it right now, and then all I have to do is push the pump, set my temperature, and we'll be good to go. So actually. I think we're good to pretty much go here. Well, um, <laughs> that uh, <laughs> got cold. Yeah, I ran out of water. I ran out of propane halfway through the shower. So it reignited like it was supposed to, and it will show the temperature and everything up there. And it was taken good 65 degree weather, or 65 degree weather, 65 degree water and warming it up to about 100 degrees. So yes, I just finished. The last couple minutes were short. Um, so when I'm getting out, I pull the shower shower back and uh, that way I can fold it back, fold it back, then I can get out and you know dry off and then empty the water out. Downside is yeah, the water sits in the bucket a little bit. So I got to lift the bucket to tilt it out but that's basically the shower next time I'm home I'm going to uh, next time I'm home I'm going to build a little bit a platform and create an actual shower pan 
One, so I can keep the shower curtain rod a little higher up, so it's out of the way all the time. And then when I'm done, by the way, I just fold the shower curtain back, fold, I fold this side back over to this hook, and then that hook comes back to this hook, and then it just sits here and hangs dries on my, I've got shower, basically shower mats on the floor. And just let it dry and I'll wring it out in the bucket first and then it doesn't leave it doesn't really leave a puddle on the floor that bad um, if you wring it out before you before you uh, let it hang dry so that's basically it that's the shower um, so yeah I'm at a customer got here late last night I have an appointment to check in with them in a half an hour but I'm gonna look all nice and clean and fresh and smell good and I'll be uh, be able to go and again this is the hot water heater boss hot water heater um, base camp outdoor system it uses a one gallon propane tank now I used a seven gallon bucket and as you can see I don't know if you can see you can see the water level there I only used about half the bucket for the shower this morning maybe a little more than half so there's the water level out of the seven gallon bucket so it doesn't take that much water at least for me to shower. I'm not taking a luxurious those showers running the whole time while I'm, you know, 20 minute shower. But this shower here is strictly just a rinse, you know, get wet, lather up, rinse off, and you're clean. So if uh, you have any questions, go ahead and post them and I will try to answer them. Good luck. Bye.